So, um, okay. So, uh, we've talked about a lot of this stuff. So let, let's get to some nitty gritty. All right. Do you guys know what class F shares are? One of the issues for you when you, uh, uh, when you get investors is how do you protect yourself as a founder? So the issues for you as a founder is really control of the company. And I think you all recognize that when investors come in, that, that, that the, the dynamics of how decisions are made changes. And even if investors take a small percentage of your business, they will heavily influence how you make decisions on what you do. Um, so even in an early stage round. Now, uh, take that to the next level, which is, Okay, we understand the mindset of European investors. They're all like us because we're a European startup. What about U.S. investors? Those guys are different, right? I mean, they're not like us. So how do we protect ourselves? Um, I'll tell you a present story, actually. Okay, so let me tell you first what Class F shares is. Class F shares is a special class of shares. It's like preferred shares, but it's common, right? And it has special rights that founders want to protect themselves, such as, and probably it may have been one of your lectures, but it's a, a class vote so that if, if the company does another financing recapitalization, wants to sell um, um, uh, anything that requires uh, stockholder approval under U.S. corporate law, requires your approval as well because you have a blocking vote. Okay, you can't force the issue, but you can stop it from happening. Um, also, what you typically tie to uh, class F rights is a permanent board seat. So what happens if you're kicked out of your own company? It happens all the time, right? But, you know, you started the company, and you've got a lot of shares there, and you want to monitor what happens. You want to seat at the table. Um, put it into class F shares. A third right would be, you know, what happens if the company is not you know, controlled by me anymore, and I want to get out, and, you know, can I force my shares back into the company? Put right, right, a redemption right. You can put that in. Now, I'm, I'm kind of painting nirvana for you guys. It never happens. Venture guys will not allow you to implement uh, Class F shares if you're an early stage company. They may, if you're a mid-stage or mezzanine stage company, you've proved yourself. And investors want you to be in the driver's seat. You've proven yourself, you've taken the company to unicorn status, for example. Right? 